Our other big story, of course, is the fallout after the indictment in the Rich Neck shooting case. The date started with a court date for the former assistant principal. Ebony Parker faced a judge this morning to discuss her legal representation. Parker is charged with eight counts of child abuse in the 2023 shooting of teacher Abby's Warner. Details of that came out in a scathing report that the Commonwealth's attorney discussed today. We have team coverage of this for you. Andy Fox was there for the event and Raven Payne talked with Abby Warner's attorneys. Andy, we'll start with you. What more did we learn from prosecutors today? Yeah, well, Len, uh, I think that the real big message uh, that Howard Gwynn put out was this. We get it. My staff gets it and we are going to continue investigating this wherever it goes. Newport News Commonwealth's attorney Howard Gwynn said alarms were not answered. There was the friend who actually told one of the administrators that the shooter had a gun. A special grand jury's report found school administration knew and a student did all he could to tell there was a gun on the shooter. That friend thought and feels guilty today because nobody listened to him. And his mother had to put him in counseling and she's in counseling herself. The report states that mother and others after the incident wanted school transfers. Newport News Public Schools apparently denied them. Howard Gwynn's a dad. What did he think of the report? I was appalled because my children went to public school here. I went to public school in Newport News. The lapses in security were appalling and it should never have happened. But it did, and the former assistant principal, Dr. Ebony Parker, now in a courtroom, facing eight counts felony child abuse, eight, the number of bullets in the gun. The grand jury report cites examples how Parker was told possible gun and ignored the warnings, and worse, did nothing to confirm the truth. There were teachers and administrators who thought they had not had an opportunity to be heard. So this report gives everybody an opportunity to be heard. The special grand jury thinks missing files and documents, possible obstruction of justice, need to be investigated more. Gwen thinks it could be tough to do that. There's a one year statute of limitations. And if charges are not brought within that one year, then there are no charges that can be brought. Now we're gonna have to see exactly where that goes. Uh, the clock is ticking though. Howard Gwynn says they will work with the school system to continue finding out more about what happened and if more charges are warranted, then there will be more charges. We'll keep you posted. In Newport News, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.